Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be looking at the Deming DM003 quadcopter which I got from Banggood. Now the Deming DM003 is no new quadcopter to the market. In fact it's been around for quite a while. However a lot of people have reported that it is one of the easiest quadcopters to learn to fly and that is why I got it, because I want to teach people how to fly quadcopters. Now, it does only have two rates, and the low rate is reported to be very, very demure. So it's very easy to learn to fly it. Now, when you open it, I, you can actually order this as two different types of controllers from Banggood. Check the link down in the description. The one is with a large controller. The other was with a smaller type. Now, I suggest ordering it with a larger controller. It's just a little easier to handle. And um, most reports say that it is a, a better controller when you are learning how to fly quadcopters. Now, there's the quadcopter itself. You can see it's actually a pretty large, um, let's say it's a Pico type quadcopter in size. It's uh, not huge, but it's also not tiny which means it's going to be a little more stable in windy environments and be a little um, less prone to jerks from movement and uh, outside interference, winds, air currents, etc. So that's a little quadcopter. Nice size, I like that. It's very light. It comes already with a, a battery in the bay. Now I actually have extra batteries and you can order additional batteries now the battery is a single cell 3.7 volt 300 milliamp battery and the reported time flight times are anything from six minutes to eight minutes so yeah you can order additional batteries i actually happen to have one or two of these extra batteries so yeah and you just squeeze them in there and uh, hold on now additionally in the box we also have the little charging cable and an extra set of props. Right, this uh, a charging cable can be plugged into a standard uh, cell phone charger or even into your laptop or computer. And it will charge from that port. Now obviously I do suggest not charging um, with anything more than 500 milliamps because you do not want to charge these batteries with a, a more than one C charge. So that'll be for 300 milliamp, 500 milliamp uh, charger is sufficient or a standard USB port from your um, computer. But uh, high amperage charges like the 2000 milliamp or the two amp chargers may eventually degrade the battery. So yeah, that's just my bit of a thought on that. So those are your extra props. You also have this very, very simple um, landing gear, which you can install here. But uh, in my case, I am going to leave them off. Actually, they just fit in here. You just squeeze them in there. And uh, yes, it makes it look neat and tidy. They are very light, but in my case, I think I'll leave them off because that just adds additional wind resistance. So yes, that's the landing gear. Additional props. You take out the controller. You also get a very simple little, well, that's all you get in the box. A simple instruction sheet um, explaining what your transmitter does. Now, it's mode two, so this is going to be your throttle, and that's your pitch, forward and backward, and your um, your roll left and right, and obviously on this side is going to be your yaw. Now these buttons are your trim buttons, and your headless mode, should you want to use that, you are going to click down on this con control stick that starts and stops your um, headless mode. Now it does require four 
AA batteries, and I'm going to insert these quick, and just power it all up and see if everything works. Right, the cover goes on. It doesn't come with a screw, it just comes with a little clip, but uh, I suppose one could add a screw there if you really wanted to. And then it switches on, and the light blinks. Now, to bind it to your quadcopter, let's see if there's enough power on this uh, battery just to get it going. Plug it in like that. That's the lights. Let's blink. Turn on the transmitter. Now, it recognizes the transmitter immediately because the lights start slow flashing. And you bind once up, once down, and the lights will stop flashing completely. And give me a little throttle. There you go. So we are ready to go. Right. I've taken away some of the things. Uh, quadcopter is bound, ready. Let's just see. Throttles up. There we go. Let's see if we can get it to fly a little bit around on the desk. Now, obviously, there's going to be quite a bit of air turbulence, so <laughs> keeping it stable is going to be very tricky. But there you go. I must say, that is amazing. It really is quite responsive and simple to control. So, uh, yeah, I would agree this is going to be an excellent little quadcopter to teach people to fly. It needs a bit of trimming, but uh, otherwise, it's pretty okay. I like that. This is going to really be a very, very easy flyer. To see how she flies, we've got to take it outside. I'm going to fully charge the battery, and let's go see how it flies outside. What I'm going to be doing today is flying the Daming. Now, bear in mind, we do have a bit of wind up there. And um, I'm going to have to fight the wind a little bit. But the whole idea is so that you can see how I control. What I've done here is I've set up my run cam to record the transmitter so you guys can actually see what I do. And now, another thing we have to bear in mind is when we switch on this quadcopter, the direction it's pointing on its first uh, binding on your transmitter is going to be its heading for its headless mode. Right, now we switch on the transmitter and it's once up, once down and it is bound. So if I just give it a little bit of throttle you'll see uh, the prop spin. Now this button controls the rates and this button does flips. Clicking in on this button is going to enable headless mode. But let me first get it off the ground, just fly a little bit so I can show you guys how it flies. Keep a, a look out on how I move my fingers because I have to move them the whole time. This is throttle and left and right is yaw and left and right on this side is roll which is left right like that and forward and backward is pitch pitch forward and backwards right so i'm just going to take a little bit off the ground and let's see how it flies and there you go as i go forward so i have to give it a bit of throttle i will throttle you don't have to play too much but i'm fighting the wind which is coming from the front right now that is in rate one now to get into rate two i click this button it beeps twice and now it's in rate two so the pitch and the roll and so on is quite a bit faster, but the yaw doesn't really change. So yeah, it's one of those things. Click it again. It's now pretty crazy in its pitch, roll, etc. So that is how you are going to fly in the beginning. I'm going to bring it down to rate one. In the beginning, all you're going to do is you're going to take it downstream and bring it back. You learn to, oh, this is obviously after you've mastered hovering. So you just take it down and bring it back. Obviously, when it turns a little bit, you're going to just compensate slightly. Now, once you've done that many, many, many times, you've gone down and brought it back, you're going to slowly start turning. Now, you go that way and you come back and you go that way and you come back. 
So you basically do these little zigzags. Now, after you've done very many of them, you will start learning how the control works. I'm gonna put it into rate two, just because we've got a bit of wind. And there you go. Now figure eights are basically the same thing, except you're just going to do them in circles. So yeah, there you go. That is the basics of flying a quadcopter. Right, and that is as simple as it is. Now, unfortunately, we do have quite a bit of wind, so I'm gonna just drop it down there. Now, we have already set it up for the direction for headless mode. Now, how headless mode works is, it's going to keep the heading, which I have now set up in that direction, and irrespective of the direction your quadcopter is turned, that'll always be forward, this will be back, and that'll be left and right. So, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna click the right lever, which enables headless mode, and now you'll see when I turn it, it can turn and that's always going to be forward and that is actually a pretty nice effect because now I can control it because I know that's forward that's right, that's left and this brings it back to me even though I am turning it the whole time you can do it the other way around as well so yeah, I don't recommend people get you too used to uh, flying in headless, head, headless mode headless mode is one of those things that you use as an extra like this as I have flown here to as a demonstration of how cool this thing can be flipping i'm not going to do because oh well let's just demonstrate how it actually flips I'm gonna... now that beeping that you heard the whole time is just to tell you it is in headless mode so yeah take it off you have to make sure you do have a bit of height remember we are fighting a bit of wind push the button push the direction in which you wish to flip it and there you go that's how it flips so again oh the battery's Unfortunately, the battery's died, but that is it. You push the button and you push it in the direction that you want it to flip, and that is that. Now, mine has been fighting quite a bit of wind, so <laughs> yeah, the battery unfortunately did not last as long as it normally would. But anyway, guys, that is the very basics of flying. Firstly, remember forward, backward, forward, backward. That's after you've mastered hovering in one point forward back and forward back the whole time and then you are going to start doing zigzags like that and when you're more comfortable you bring the zigzags into themselves which creates your figure eights which everyone talks about and after doing many 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 of them you will at one point figure out how this whole flying thing works it's very much like riding a bicycle you have to get to that point where you figure where this works anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that and look out for my next video and please subscribe